AI be very important not only in the 5G space, but also in making sure that AI is used appropriately both on device and back in the cloud. And then if we get if we cover it with a big cloud, a big cloud of, of, of data capability, then we'll be able to deliver it in a much more in, in, in impactful way into our organizations and into ourselves. AI, cloud, and connectivity is actually going to level the world out in a way we've never seen before. And that you don't have to be living in the most advanced developed economy to be able to have the most advanced and exciting jobs. With this kind of connectivity, anybody can reach a global market. Anybody can take advantage of the most advanced technology wherever you are. Sustainability is going to be a very big question and something that all of these big manufacturers are seeking to, to address. Um, the stuff we're talking about is pretty power hungry and, and trying to drive the power dependency of those down as fast as we can is a very big theme that we've also seen in the last probably six to eight months. Both AI and cloud can be very, very power hungry and 5G can be pretty power hungry. <coughs> so doing it in a sustainable way where we take responsibility for some of our, uh, uh, we take responsibility for what we're doing and make sure that in giving it the benefits, we're not taking it away with some of the costs. But that's, that's a high priority for many of the operators, certainly that we speak to. So the adoption of it, I think, is again, the speed of this, the speed of AI is even in our fast market is, I think, as fast as we've ever seen. So I think those are the two things. The other thing I think we need is we haven't got enough people with enough skills to, to catch this and make the most of it quite yet. I think there is a skill gap that we need to be able to develop across the world, by the way. This isn't targeted at any particular place. We're catching up with the skill sets that we have individually uh, in our businesses, in our countries, and, and uh, in ourselves isn't quite keeping pace at the moment. And then we're going to have to put a big, a big education program in place across the world to get people up to not just understanding how to develop, but also how to use AI. Because you go from searching and asking to prompting and guiding. It's a very different use case. Anybody in here who's just used Copilot will know that. Because the way you use it is a very different thing. It's a very different way of working. But once you get it, and once it gets you, and it's a learning experience, it becomes much more powerful.